Well, hello, YouTubers, and welcome back to the Holtz Mitchell channel and another episode in the Wood ID series. Today, we're going to take a look at the differences in, uh, in two rings porous species, uh, ash and oak. Um, with the color variations, uh, sometimes they're real easily confused. However, with the pictures I'm about to show you, you can see some subtle differences. Now, I'm not going to point them out to you right off the get-go. I'm going to show you some pictures here of, uh, you know, two similarly colored pieces of wood, and I want you to guess which is which. So I'm going to keep on keep you guessing for a little while. Um, there is one distinguishing feature of oak that ash doesn't have. Now let's take a look at it right here. Now, did you happen to see what that might have been? Uh, just to highlight the whole thing again instead of rewinding the the uh, video I'm going to show it to you again right here okay so now you've seen two different variations of the identifying feature that oak has that ash doesn't and that's parenchyma so uh, if you look and see those broad bands of parenchyma, I'll show you with an arrow here. So now you've seen that's the parenchyma that um, ash doesn't have, it doesn't develop it, or it does, but in a microscopic form that you can't see with the naked eye. So uh, let's take a, another look at some more close-ups of the same or of different pieces. Okay, now here you've seen two pieces that are almost white. Uh, one was sapwood of oak, and the other one was ash. And so let's see if you can spot the difference. Okay, after showing to you that again, the oak has the parenchyma and it appears as the darker lines in the wood grain. And so that's the distinguishing feature that uh, you can see in oak, and this is characteristic of most all oak now, the, or the, commercial of it, com the commercially available species. I haven't worked with uh, cork oak and uh, other various species of oak, but uh, there are some other ones that may or may not have. Um, if any of you folks out there that have worked with white oak, uh, add your two cents in in the comment section below if it has parenchyma or not. That's just one I haven't had in my hands yet, so I can't comment one way or the other um, if it does or doesn't. So, if you guys can supplement the monologue here, you know, by all means, uh, it would be appreciated. So that way, the other folks uh, reading along in the comment section and watching the video can can be you know get a better information on the whole thing. So. Well, YouTubers, that's a wrap for this little episode of Wood ID, uh, Ash and Oak. Uh, like I said, this was just a, a brief overview of a key, identif or key identifying feature of oak that definitely distinguishes it from other ring porous species. So if you're ever in doubt, always look for that parenchyma in oak. and. Uh, if you don't see it, then chances are it probably isn't a piece of oak. So with that, I hope you guys got a little something out of it, and thanks for stopping by.